Hey, welcome back to another RV walkthrough. My name's Taylor Quayle. We're here at Padada RV Center in Tucson, Arizona. Today we're looking at a 2009 Newmar Canyon Star 3641. 37 foot class A gasser. It's got a V10 Triton on that Super Duty Ford chassis. We're gonna give it an exterior walk here, check out the compartments, and then we will jump inside and check out the interior. So let's check out these corners. As you can see, this coach is full body paint. It's got a great little color scheme with all the browns and the beiges. Has a nice, pretty big awning over the slide for the front passenger side. There is no topper on that slide because the awning is there. But as you can see, God, it looks almost like a 20 footer right there. Vinyl's in really good condition. Now, this is a triple slide unit. Opposing slides up front, then right here, you got one slide for your bedroom. And as you can see, toppers on both of these slides. All right, let me get some of these compartments open and we'll check out all the storage. The rear storage is quite impressive on this. All right, we are going to start on the passenger side. As you can see, everything is open. First compartment is right behind the axle, right behind the entry door, nothing up front besides, of course, your hood. A little converter in there. It does have a inverter on board somewhere. That's a pass-through storage, as you can see. These go a little bit lower under the slide but two more storages. See some awning controls and connections for a TV, it looks like. Look at that water tank, massive. Tires on here, that is a Toyo dated 2021, so they're pretty fresh. Not even a year old. 5500 Onan Marquise, and that is a gas. Technically a pass-through storage there, but I don't know what you're fitting with all that plumbing in the way. Look at that. Yeah, you got a little bit of the carpet peeling. It can easily be re-glued, but look how big this storage is. It is huge. Not like the other passers where you got the chassis in the way. It's a full pass without the bottom and, or the top intrusion. Now your hitch on the back should be a 5,000 pound. There it is, 5,000 on that tag. Seven pen right there. Fuel fill in the rear. Now, of course, we got a ladder here. Why don't we jump up and check it out right next to that backup camera. I'll meet you up there. All right, up top, you can see the awning on the right, passenger side, full slide toppers on the left for your slides. Double AC, couple skylights way up there. It's hard to see. Little baby solar panel right there. Good looking roof. All right, now on the driver's side in the rear, the other side of that pass-through storage and of course your dump station a couple low point drains flushes whole coach water filter and your dumps right there with that pass-through 21 toyos in the back also other side of that one another water tank it looks like probably your gray and then the other side of those pass-through storage is minus this last one right here oh. I guess minus the middle one. It's still technically a passer, but there's a lot of stuff in the way. And then your propane tank. I can't see the size. It's big though. Just to confirm, yep, tires up front are also Toyos. I didn't say yet, this is a V10 Triton. Should be the 362 horse or around there. So that's the exterior. Why don't we jump inside, check out the interior. As I was shutting these compartments, I forgot one of the main reasons I do these videos to show you any imperfections. Small little chinger there, it looks like. A little bit of a dent, some paint scuff. And on the other side, other side looks good. You do have a little bit of a wavy door right here for this compartment. I don't know what happened, but just a heads up. All right, let me get these compartments shut. We'll jump inside. Now your awning, if you click and hold the button, it will go automatically. You can take your finger off and let it go. And I'll show you something with the uh, slides too, similar concept. Now that awning, I don't know if I mentioned it, but it does have a nice big metal cover on it too. All right, jumping inside, three exterior steps that come out. What do we got under here? A little bit of storage under there. All right, so this is what you see right when you walk in. Greet you with your slide of your dinette couch. Kitchen on the passenger side. So let me go stand in the back, show you the front. 
standing right in front of the bed, not all the way to the back wall, right through the bathroom here. All right, so let's start up front. So up front, you do have your leveling jacks right there, and they are auto levelers. A couple light controls, a battery boost, screen for your backup camera, gen start, nothing too crazy. It does have a little solar charging when lit, really just for a trickle charge. She's got, I think, 30,500. 31,600, I am sorry, just barely off. Seats look good. The back of the driver's seat has been hit by the slide a couple times. It happens. They just forget to put the seat all the way forward. If you look at the back of the passenger, you'll see it looks much nicer. It is an 09, it is 13 years old, so you do have a little bit of stress marks in the leather, it looks like. The beige looks pretty good, just right around the thighs, a little bit on the armrests. Much more so on the driver's side, especially the armrest. All right, it is carpeted for the most part throughout the coach. You do have a little bit of that laminate flooring, kitchen down, carpet back in the bedroom. All right, so up front, I'm not sure if that TV's been updated. That could very well be an 09 Samsung. Do you have a little bit of storage, kind of chaotic with all these cables and everything, but if you want to get a satellite system or a DVD or an Xbox or something crazy like that, you can. Your curtain for the front is literally a curtain. It wraps all the way around, meets in the middle, gives you your blackout shades. So other than that, your uh, driver's seat is electric. Passenger is manual, except for your backrest, of course, is manual on the driver's seat. All right, let's flip her around. Follow that corner and the crown molding all the way to there. That is where your first slide is on the driver's side. It is three feet deep. And it looks like it has a little bit of overhead cabinet, nothing too crazy. Um, but you do have those two nice drawers for your dinette. And then this is a sleeper sofa. I want to say it was a pullout. It is. Sofa looks to be in pretty good condition. Not, I don't see any rips or tears. You do have a cloth dinette. And as you can see, it does match the balances quite well. And it looks to also be in good condition. So this is another sleeper, of course. So it'll sleep six on paper. You got two of those nice deep drawers on either side. And then up above the couch, there is three overhead storages and they are all connected. <coughs> Looks like they did add a little separator. Try to keep some stuff in place. And then they did also upgrade or upgrade. It depends on which way you look at it, but the curtains. So you just have slide curtains now throughout this coach. Um, and I think on some of the bigger windows, they, yeah, they just took them out completely. They were probably strung shades, and nobody likes dealing with the restringing them, and so I don't blame them for taking it out. All right, that is the driver's side slide. Let's move on over to the passenger side. So passenger side, of course, right behind the cab, you got your entry door. You do have your power controls. Uh, what else we got? Uh, level testers, a couple slide controls up front, water heater, nothing too crazy. Your awning control and lights are right there. I do have a couple lights and covers I got to replace. You'll see a couple outages here. Recliner sofa will turn and then behind that sofa if you want to build a desk you do have hookups for power and internet Your kitchen it's got a lot of storage it's got a decent amount of counter space and it, it is all in the slide minus the fridge So that corner to that corner been trying something new. I'm gonna put you guys on pause open all these compartments and bring you back Okay it looks a little chaotic, but it just shows how much dang storage is in this kitchen. It is incredible We're gonna start up top up top, right above your sink, two storages, one of those light covers I gotta put back on, and that looks like it is completely adjustable for your level. And then, just to the right of that, we do have another storage just like it. Same size, same depth, all that good stuff. To the right of that is your convection microwave, because there is no oven, and it looks like a residential size. That is Velcroed up there, you can't take it off, really an access port for technicians. A little pantry glass bourbon storage whatever light down below a little bar area there's not much storage in here it's really just so those lines can slide in and out with the slide and then you can't get in here but what's behind there is those three pull out drawers so decent little pantry and then just to our left we have right under your oven of course i'm sorry right under your stove top you have three more drawers 
there nice and deep. Once again, you have more pantry storage slide out trays right next to it. And then last but not least, well not necessarily last, but four more massive drawers nice and deep that will come out. Moving over to the left, probably because you don't have much under sink storage with that water heater being right there. That does look like, I think it's a 10 gallon too. Sponge, and last but not least, another little storage on the left there. In the middle, you do have Corian countertops throughout. Dual bay sink. You can see your two covers right there for it. And then three burner stove top with the Corian covers that just lift up and get out of the way. So that is your kitchen. I know it's a little chaotic when everything's open, but it looks good. Let me get it all shut. Lot of space in that kitchen, that's for sure. All right, making our way back. We have your Norcold two-door fridge. This is a one of them three-way fridges. Probably doesn't have an ice maker, does not. And then finally, you know, it keeps going. You have, that is insane, five more drawers. And it looks like you can adjust them to an extent in terms of what level you want them at. There's just, if you, if you want to buy an RV strictly for pantry space, let me tell you. All right. As we walk through, you do have a little pocket door just to the right, right before the commode and then the shower. You do have light controls, fantastic fan, and of course your thermostat. When we go into the bathroom, got your little vanity, medicine cabinet, a little bit of storage down below. Like I said, no shortage of storage. Oh. I never even looked at that. What is going on in here? I wonder if they, it almost looks like you could use it as a step. I do not trust those rails. So it's probably just a little lift up storage area. All right. Now, your corner shower. One piece fiberglass walls. Got a pan. Nice little skylight up above in case you're short. I mean, tall. Never said that in my life. Always been short. All right. And then into the bathroom, and it is a china toilet. You do have some storage above the toilet. Fantastic fan. And then let me get in here and try to show you the storage in front. There is no washer or dryer in here. But as I sit down on here, I got to replace the light. That's why it's so dark. You have a lot of storage in here. Linen closet, to say the least. All right. And then last but not least, your bedroom. So before I even show you where the slide is, don't ask me, we got it. It came in this way, a little weird. All your cabinets are a little kink cockeyed. I have a good reason for this one. Uh, the uh, mounting brackets upside down. The other ones I couldn't tell you, but a little, little character to her. That corner to that corner looks to be 24, maybe 30 inches deep. And then it will slide in. It is a queen bed and there is a little bit of storage down below. I mean, if you move the foam, you'd be able to see, but ooh, I think that's how you get to the slide mechanism. Yeah. All right. Now, either side of the bed, you do have a small little storage and then a little end table on either side. Nothing too crazy. A couple lights back there in front of the bed, in front of the mattress couple linen closets and then six drawers bottom three a little bit deeper than the top three there you go a little bit more shallow and then finally two of these wardrobes right here on either side one on the right is a little bit taller if you got some of those summer dresses and then of course I always forget what's behind this it's just a small storage it is yeah all right, and that is your interior walkthrough of our 2009 Newmar Canyon Star. Now, I haven't showed you yet. Let me show you all my printouts. Floor plan, all that good stuff. We are selling this coach for $59,995. Try to put that on pause, read through some of the specifications. There is your floor plan. And then finally, if you want to put that on pause, you can see some of the uh, fill of the uh, tank sizes, lengths, heights, all that fun stuff. All right, last but not least, we are going to put in these slides. Now, one thing that is funny about Newmar is their slides. They're extremely slow, 
but I don't mind that because that means they're you know less propensity to break. But let me uh, get you all set up, put these slides in, and show you what I mean. All right, so your two front side controls are right here, Newmark Corp. Uh, we're going to do the passenger side so I can show you that they are not extremely fast by any means. Now, unfortunately, being a No. 9, you do have to hold the, the button. It's not an electric or an automatic like some of the newer ones are. But I wanted to give you an idea of the slide speed. They are a little slow. It's not broken. It is normal. And then you can see that little black thing coming out on that arm. And that's actually a slide lock. So when that slide is in, you can latch that into place and keep your slides in from falling out on the road. All right, I'm going to continue on putting these slides in. I won't make you guys wait through this. Um, all three slides are the exact same. Your driver's side slide does literally lift up and come into place if you've seen these deeper slides before. So let me get them in, and I'll be right back with you. As I put this driver's side slide in, I'll show you what I was talking about earlier. You can see I, I don't have the seat all the way back by any means. It's pretty far forward, but it's pretty easy to forget about that seat. And then as you're putting your slides out or in, hit that. All right, the rear slide is all the way in. As you can see, it cozies up right above that ledge, right in front of those cabinets. Still accessible to the wardrobes and the overhead storages, but not the underbed storage. You can still sleep though, which is always nice. Of course, commode, shower, completely accessible. You can see your big slide right here is all the way in and your kitchen slide cozies up right along this line here. So everything's in, complete walkway to get through. You could get rid of the chair, move the chair if that's too much of an un impeding. But there it is. Let me go outside and show you the exterior too, give you an idea how it looks in travel mode. I forgot I have the step button on, but the steps would normally be in, of course. Your single slide right there in the middle is in, awning is in. And then of course your driver's side. So that is our 2009 Newmark Canyon Star 3641 that we're selling for 60 grand here at Padata RV Center. If you have any questions, I will leave a link to this unit down below in the description, including all my contact info. Reach out to me, text me, email me, whatever you got to do. I will be available for you. Thank you so much for viewing. Hopefully this answered a question you may have had on this model. Hope everyone has a great day.